Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Marco, I'm with Fiero Labs, and today we are going to be setting up our Function Block Slide Plus by Function LAN. In the last video, we unboxed it and we installed a four terabyte NVMe drive into the tower. So once we get this set up and running, we'll have a ton of storage to be able to play around with. So if you want to learn how to uh, install your own NVMe drive into your tower, um, go ahead and check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description below. Today, I'm going to be using a Pixel 4a for our setup process. Um, currently, the iOS version of the app is not out on the App Store, so we are using Android instead to set this bad boy up. But before we can get to that point, I have some power adapters that we're going to be testing out to see if they work with the tower. But if none of those work, I did go out and get a 25 watt anchor power adapter. This one says it is for Samsung devices. It is also PD3 uh, compatible. So according to the Function Land website, this should work without a problem. So the reason I'm gonna be checking out these power adapters is because as you may know or not know, the tower does not come with a power adapter in the box. So it is up to us to find one. Um, that's unfortunate, but hey, save a little bit of more recycling. I got a bunch of power adapters around the, laying around the house, so we're gonna see which one of these work. And with that, let's check out these power adapters. So the first charger we're going to be testing out is going to be the Nintendo Switch charger. Uh, I had a spare one of these, so I didn't have to go out and buy one, but I wanted to bring this one into the video because I wanna showcase what happens when you don't have a compatible charger. This is a 39 watt charger. I don't know its PD rating and it's $30 retail. So I wouldn't go out and buy one even if it did work. So let's plug it in, check to see what happens. Okay, okay so according to the official website setup guide from Function Land, this is not what should be happening. What we have going on here is uh, the blocks telling us that we have an incompatible power adapter. Uh, according to this message in the Telegram group chat, um, what's happening here is the second option. The tower just goes through the cycle of green and off and a visible effect that we won't be able to see the function blocks hotspot if we go looking for it. Yeah, looks like it is not here. Okay, so now you know if you don't have a compatible uh, PD3 25 watt charger, you might get the symptom of it flashing green and off. All right, the next charger we're gonna be showcasing is gonna be this old Samsung charger. It doesn't say on here what is the wattage rating um, or the PD rating. So let's just see what happens. It looks like it's probably just gonna cycle through the colors again. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening in this case is the first scenario now, the tower is going through the repeating cycle of green, blue, white, nonstop. And then what should also happen is that we won't be able to see the hotspot as well. Yeah, it looks like it, this one is not going to work either. So maybe this one has a lower wattage rating and it doesn't have the PD compatibility. Nonetheless, uh, these are, are these are two things that can go wrong if you do not have a compatible charger for the blocks. All right, next up we have everyone's favorite iPhone charger, iPad charger. It does say on here that it says USB PD. After a quick Google search, I saw that the iPhone chargers are 20 watts. So I have a little faith that this will work, but nevertheless, let's try it out. So we can verify it's working properly if we see the function blocks hotspot in our settings. All right, so it looks like iPhone chargers, iPad chargers will work with the function blocks. Although I would be, oh, look at that. It just disconnected, I think. Ah, okay. So that, ooh, it's like turning on and turning off. It might be that might be because of the lower wattage rating it might not be supplying enough power to the blocks and since we don't want that i think we're gonna have to sack this one as well all right so the last one we're going to be testing out is going to be the one that we went out and bought we made sure this one was going to be the one that will work with the function blocks according to their official website um, this is a 25 watt pd3 compatible power charger um, and let's see what happens Thank you. 
Perfect. Now let's search for the hotspot in our settings. Okay, so it just took a second for it to pop up. Um, should be good to go. We should have no problems and we sh can now continue with the setup of the device. So looks like first thing we're going to do is uh, go to the function blocks app, find it on the Google Play Store. Go ahead and install that. All right, yes, we want to set up my blocks. Okay, so uh, looks like we have two options, either the Girly Ethereum testnet or the Mumbai Polygon testnet. Since it was automatically on the Polygon testnet, I think we're just gonna set it up on there. I am comfortable with MetaMask, so I think we're gonna go ahead and install MetaMask. I like how it gave you those options though. That's really neat. All right, cool, we're gonna install MetaMask. All right. Okay, wait, the web three. Next, we, um, I'm gonna assume that I don't have a wallet, even though I do, so I'm going to create a new wallet. Um, do I want to send information to uh, MetaMask? All right. So what do we do from here? Um, let's go back to the app, um, see what it prompts us. Oh, I have to be on the Polygon testnet, which is um, Mumbai, 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 Mumbai. Oh, hey, look, check it out. Oh, okay. So by clicking connect, you allow the app uh, to view your public address. This is an important security step to protect your data from potential phishing risks. Connect, oh, okay, right on. Continue in MetaMask. I did. Yeah, because according to this app, it's much easier to get onto the Gurley testnet than it is on the Mumbai testnet. So let's let's go back and do that instead. So let's go back, go back, go back. All right, Gurley Ethereum testnet. All right, connect to wallet, uh, MetaMask. Uh, okay, yes, I want to connect. Connect it, perfect. All right, now we're going back to the app. Uh, go to uh, MetaMask, uh, enter our super secure password. Let's see. Let's go back to the app, uh, give it a couple seconds. I don't know if the, some processes happen in the background or something, but so far nothing so it looks like this is when we just start closing out apps all right let's go back into the blocks app i want to set up on the girly test net not mumbai we're gonna go to metamask okay all right yes i want to connect and when you connect me i want you to do it right perfect yes I think this is correct. All right, so it worked this time. There's a little bit of a spelling error right here on link password, but no matter. All right, now we're gonna create a password for our DID. Why is there an information button right here? Oh, it's just to show. Yeah, that needs to be an eyeball icon. I'm sorry, but, but why did it take us back to the MetaMask app? Anyways, okay. Another spelling error on cancel. In the video, it seemed like it didn't take this long, but maybe they just cut it to be short. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, because I am, it is supposed to send me to the MetaMask app. I'm probably supposed to like sign a transaction or something. Okay, so it's bugging, it's bugging again. Okay, let's close these apps. All right, let's get back into it. We are on the girly Ethereum testnet. There's a misspelling on link password. All right, uh, all right, this is, all right, cool. All right, so it wants us to sign this message. Okay, cool. Sign, 
and then perfect this is our did now we're now we can connect now we can connect to the blocks okay connect to boxes hotspot okay yeah there's a ton of misspellings in this app uh if you don't see the function blocks wi-fi or cannot connect to it so we're going to go to our Wi-Fi. We're going to connect to the function blocks. We want to format disk. Perfect. Format disk fail. You should upload your blocks back in. OK, so we're going to skip. All right, perfect. Let's connect to. All right, now we are going to reconnect to the blocks Wi-Fi. Okay, connected. All right, we're gonna do continue uh, while using this app. All right, cool. So adding the blocks app peer ID as an owner on the blocks. First, we need to do is uh, format the disk. But before we format it, we have to update the firmware, I guess. So we need to reconnect to the Wi-Fi. All right, connect. All right, so your blocks is updating. Please wait for an hour. Okay, so when that finishes, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. But how do I know within the app if it's done? All right, so let's see if this thing is done updating. Uh, it's actually been three days, um, and if you've been wondering if I've been wearing this shirt for three days, no, I, sh I did laundry. Reconnect to existing blocks. Why is it not authorized? Let's just say connect blocks. Connect. There we go. Perfect. Continue. Alrighty. An update is waiting a manual restart to be applied. Okay. You should unplug and plug back your box to restart it. The IT is cut off and then try again. Okay, let's try it. So it just turned off, we'll wait a couple seconds. Probably gonna go through the cycle of lights again. Yeah, green off, green off. Wait a couple more seconds. Let's go back into our Wi-Fi settings. There we go, obtaining IP address, perfect. All right, there we go. Now we're connected. Should be good. No. Do I do it quickly? Do I do it slowly? Do I wait an hour for it to restart or for it to... Um... I don't know. Let's close the app. Why is this... Oh, it's, it's staying on blue now for some reason. This must mean it is updating its, its firmware now. Oh, okay, the lights turned off. Oh, the lights came on again. Hey, wait, no, still not good. White, wait, that other color that I got was like a deep blue, but this one was like a turquoise. Does that matter? This is a green. Thank you. Connected, but no internet access. That's fine. Blocks. Continue. Hey, there we go. Finally works. So it looked like just unplugging it, plugging it back in really quickly. Um, I guess that's what helped it realize it needed to reconnect. All right, and then check it out. It looks like it has been formatted already. We, we see that we have the four terabytes capacity. All right, now we want to connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, completing setup, waiting for internet. Okay, reaching blocks. Perfect, and it's that easy. All right, let's go home. Box what? Yay! It's ready for you. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys were able to follow along. Yeah, in the next video, we'll go through the app. We'll go through the function uh, photos app and the function files app, see how they interoperate 
with the device itself because we don't just want to have a nice looking brick lying around before the Fula network is up and running. So i um, super excited to be able to get to use the app and be able to play around with it, have that four terabytes of storage actually available to us. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.